<clears throat> sub day. You guys have a substitute or two in here today. And you're going to be looking at how and why graphs are used in physics. We've been doing this the whole time. But the whole big point, ladies and gentlemen, for today is this right here. Okay? The packet is due Monday. The packet is due Monday slash Tuesday if you're in group B. But basically, it is due Monday. That is the key there. Okay? Right here. Due Monday. This is the important part right here, okay? Monday and Tuesday, pages 1 to 9, all right? That's, for me, that's what you got to get done today. This is your chance to do it. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about the sub-day. Here's what's going to happen, okay? If you are in group A, the first half of class, okay, you are going to be working on your decks, okay? You are going to be drawing your decks. You're going to be measuring your decks, whatever they look like. You're going to be making sure everything looks great, grand, wonderful, all right? Uh, you should have already started it. You should understand what's going on. You're drawing a scale model, and you will get more time after this for Mr. Hess or Mr. Dorsheimer, uh, but you should be close to finishing, close to finishing by the end of the day. By the end of the day, by the end of the period, you should be close to finished. Okay? That's where you should be. Okay? Then, if you're in Group A, the second half of class, Group A, you're going to be working on the blue graphing packet. Okay? And trying to finish that. I don't think I need to explain that much more. Okay? Now, what if you are in Group B? Well, if you're in Group B, you're going to start with the blue graphing packet for the first half of class, okay? And then if you're, oh, sorry, about halfway through, then you're going to move on to the decks, okay? You're going to be getting close to finished, Clo close to finished, okay? That is your job. Get it done. All right. Now, next, I do have a little demonstration of how to do this problem. This is a very good example of how to do this problem and the other two big graphing problems. So pay attention to what I'm doing here. If you don't really know what's going on, or even if you do, watch it and make sure you have it perfectly correct. Okay? So the question is, does the weight of a baby depend on the age of the baby. So what we know already is that the weight affects the age. That means that the... Uh, I'm sorry, I switched that around. Does Depend on the age means that age changes the weight, which means age is the independent variable and weight is the dependent variable. Okay, now you got to have your units here. Age, as you can see, is measured in months. So I'm going to put months up here. Okay. And weight is measured in pounds. So I'm going to put pounds up here. Okay. Now, because I know that age is the independent variable, I can put age, parentheses, months. That's worth two points right there. Okay, one, one point for age, one point for months. Okay, right there. That's the start. And I can put weight in pounds okay, on the y-axis because that's the dependent variable. It is always, always, always independent variable on the x and dependent, oh, you can't even see that, dependent variable on the y. Okay, all right. So, where do we go from here? Well, glad you asked. We're going to do the same thing that we did before. We got to put our scales together, okay? So, let's start with the, uh, the first scale. Let's do, um, let's see, let's do the age, okay? Now, the age, the scale, really, it goes from 1 
all the way down to 8. But I want my scale to start at 0, just because it's close to 1. That'll work. So really, my age, or my range, is going to be 8. Now, if you did 7, I get it. That's okay. That should work. Okay? And then... Uh, the number of intervals, what I do is I go and I count the number of intervals on the graph. So age is the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm going to write 18 in there. And let's see... Um, See if I can erase. Ah, there we go. I can erase that. Okay, good. In fact, I'm going to erase some stuff up here, too. Okay? So what we know is there are 18 blocks. That's really what we're looking at there. Okay? 18 blocks. Now, if there's 18 blocks and the range is 8, I just do 8 divided by 18. And if I run that on my calculator, 8 divided by 18, I get that it's 0.44. Now, I'm not going to go... Uh, going up by 0.44 every single time because that, that's just kind of silly. Okay, so I'm going to round that up to 0.5. So going up by 0.5, this first one is 0. Now I could actually put in the 0.5 here, but I don't need to. It's a little small, so I'm just going to put 1 there. Skip 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Sorry, this is cramped. Six, seven, eight. And, oh, look, I go from zero to eight. I'm going to fit all my data in the x-axis. That's fantastic. All right, so let's try another one. Let's do weight in pounds. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm going to do that in blue just to make it a little different. So now my the weight of the baby, it actually starts at 8.1 and goes up to 16.7. So... Uh, if I did 16.7 minus 8.1, I would get 8.6. That's the minimum, right? And I want to count my intervals. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 intervals. Now, if I actually go to my computer and I do 8.6 divided by 13... I get 0.66. So that means if I started at 8.1 down here and went up to 16.7 up here, I would need to go up by 0.66. Now I need to round up. And I think the best thing to round up to would be something along the lines of, how about 1? Let's make the counting 1. And since I rounded up so much, why don't I start, um, why don't I start at a lower number? In fact, why don't I start up top here? I'm going to start with... 17 up here, okay, so this would be 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, it's kind of hard to draw on this thing, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, okay. All right, so we got the scales. We got the uh, labels and units. We've, we don't have a title yet. We'll do that a little later. But here's the other thing that we got to do. Okay, we need to actually plot our points. So here we go. Let's get a, a nice little shape in. Let's do a little dot. Um, no border, uh, no shadow. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Well, well nope. All right, I'll just draw little dots. So... Uh, let's put these little dots in and let's do them in red. So, let's see, we've got at one month, we've got 8.1 pounds. So I'm going to go to 1, and i got to go up to 8.1, which would be right about here. All right, uh, 2 and 9.4. So I go to 2, I'm going to go up to 9.4. There we go. And 3 to 10.5, so 3... Ten and a half, right, oh, right about there. And four, 12.1. Pretty much right on that dot there. Five gets me to 12.9. Okay. Six to 14.3. Seven to 15.2.
and 8 to 16.7. It's just about at the top there. And look at that. We have a graph. All right. There's one thing missing here, which is a title. Hmm. What can we do for the title? Well, hmm. How about, um, how about weight change in first year of life? Now, that should obviously be a lot better written and spaced out, uh, but that's just the way it is for this. So... Remember, remember, okay, I'm going to see what this highlighter thing does. Um, remember, when you're doing this, okay, um, okay, you got to have, you got to have your title, okay, I don't like that color, where did I change the color, eh, I'll figure it out, oh, there it is, you got to have the title, right, you also got to have the labels here, with the units, you got to have the correct scale, okay? You got to have the plot, the points plotted, okay? You got all of that. That's going to give you a very good graph. So go ahead and move on to the rest of it. Remember, this is all due on Monday or Tuesday. A for uh, A is due Monday, B is due Tuesday. So uh, with that, adios and good luck.